there we are hello everybody and I want to give you a a little tip on a patient uh, one of our members has a patient his father and wanted wanted a little advice or a little, little help and what I told him give me your right give me your thoughts you know I just don't want I, I don't want to do everything for you it's not that we want you to become better smarter doctors and to um, to give me your thoughts about things uh, the patient had, and you are familiar with all this. Let me pull back a little bit. He's got high TSH, um, high TSH, and the uh, thyroid's a little bit low. And in about two months, about eight weeks, they retested again. And you can see where where the uh, TSH dropped from eight three down to six point nine, which is good. And then we re then he tested the thyroid antibodies and saw that those are screaming high at one eighty five. So he's wanting to know what's going on. Well, uh, the initial testing showed that he had high cancer markers. Cancer panel showed the CEA of 8.3 um, and a CA199 of 51. And you see from 11.24 up to uh, January 7th that the CEA went up a couple points and the CA199 dropped um, uh, from 51 down to 37. So that is all good. But the CEA went up. So what what can we do or what should we be thinking? And so uh, so he actually sent me that notice, but we had him uh, review the test results. And we see that on the hair test, the hair test right there, he's got high aluminum. You can see that. There's high aluminum. He's got high lead, high mercury extremely high uranium and look at these guys extreme high copper and extreme high zinc now in my years of practice i've seen this zinc i think can be more damaging especially at these super high levels i mean look 500 and a healthy range is is right there at 24 the clinical range is 30 and he's way over that at 500 and I think this copper is extremely damaging. Be sure and read your, review the report on what copper does. But think, this patient has high thyroid antibodies and a very high and a high TSH. So what do we see here that could directly cause it? Well, we see lead and mercury can affect the thyroid function, uh, uranium obviously, but also copper can directly affect thyroid. So it, it is also, do you think that these things could affect? the immune system and make his body more susceptible to getting cancer. And so just from this simple testing here, it's going to tell you where you need to go. Now, testing wise, what I would do for this patient with this very high copper is have them order a copper test of the water coming into the house of the water of the drinking water. And then we also want to test of the water they use for bathing um, washing clothes, uh, all those kind of things. So three tests, one of the water coming into the house, one drinking water, and one just general use for that to really see where it's coming from. So hopefully that helps and gives you some ideas on what you should be doing with your patients. And um, don't be afraid. This one's going to respond very nicely and uh, will have a great result when you find out and can reduce the source of these toxic elements. I believe the thyroid... Uh, uh, antibodies are going to drop like a rock and even the cancer markers are going to improve too as we take the burden off the body. So I hope you enjoyed this little quick case. I hope you have a great day. I'm Dr. Merkel.